Welcome to my channel. My name is Avia. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be going over a couple of my, some of my favorite fall items that I've picked up throughout the past couple of months. They're going to be from an array of different places. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first item I picked up was actually a repurchase from last year. Last year, I had picked up this bomb patent leather crop skin blazer from Nasty Gal. I saw um, a girl, I cannot remember her name. She was on Instagram. She's doing like a 30 day, 30 outfit challenge. And she had this on and baby, I ran to Nasty Gal because I had to get it. All they had was plus size and a size 12. I didn't care. It's supposed to be oversized anyway. So I went ahead and picked it up. Then I was on Al Gore slash Beyonce's internet, do not doing what I was supposed to be doing. And I was like, let me just get on Nasty Girl and see Nasty Gal or Girl or whatever and see what they got. And baby, she came with additional colors. And I had to pick up the olive color. Green, all shades, my favorite color. They also have like a lavender and a blue. And I'm not really a pastel girl. I'm a vibrant girl or a neutral color girl, and I like prints. But this green, I had to get it. I had to get it. Like, it's giving me Lux. It's giving me, this black one is especially is giving me Tom Ford. Tom Ford is my favorite, one of my favorite designers. So when I saw that they came with additional colors, I had to get it. I also got this one in a size 12. I was originally gonna get it in a size 10, um, but honey, it sold out. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get a size 12 because I already know how it fits and I'm very happy with this purchase. I paid like $30 for this jacket and it fits so good and it's so well made. It doesn't look cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, it's fully lined. Well, the lining feels cheap, but that's fine as long as the inside, the outside looks really good. And I get so many compliments every time I wear this black one, so I cannot wait to rock the green one. All right, since I'm already on the website, I might as well just keep browsing, and just fill up the cart with some stuff. And I saw that they had their vintage section back. So I was like, ooh, let me see what they got for vintage. I want a vintage leather jacket. Fortunately, they only had small, and the way these boobs, small and medium, the way these boobs are set up, small, medium ain't fitting it. But they had real leather jackets. So I picked up this real leather moto jacket um, from Nasty Girl. I paid like $90 for it, because I got it during Either Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I can't remember. It all runs the same. That whole two weeks all runs the same to me. But I picked this up for like 90 something dollars and it is real leather. It's oversized, again, it's the plus section. I'm sorry, plus girls. Um, I'm shopping in your section, but I don't care because y'all got some cute stuff too. I wanted it oversized, so I got it in a size 10. It's supposed to be oversized anyway, so the fact that it's plus size and fits the way I want it to fit. I like the fact that it's not short. I'm tall, I'm 5'10", so things, and with a longer torso, so jackets and shirts tend to not drop that low, that long on me, which really irks my soul. But luckily this one fits and stops right where I want it to, and I absolutely love this jacket. Sticking with the leather trend, um, the next item I picked up was this oversized hoodie. I just went real dark. <laughs> was this oversized hoodie, um, faux leather hoodie in a tan cream color. I absolutely love it. It's it's a size eight. Um, it's still very big. I already knew if I were to get the size 10, it was gonna be doing too much. But I love this. It's so perfect for me to bring it to the springtime. Um, it's so versatile, it's very edgy, it's giving me streetwear vibes, and I cannot wait to style this and wait to show you guys how I style this as well. Still sticking with the leather trend, I picked up these high-waisted, extremely wide leg pants, um, faux leather pants. I absolutely love these. First of all, they're long enough for me. And they don't have a tall section, so I was really worried that it was gonna be too short, but if it was gonna be too short, Baby, I was just gonna send it back. I absolutely love these pants. They're so comfortable, they fit so well. I can see so many outfits with these pants. It's gonna be an all season thing. Well, maybe not summer when it starts to get real hot because we ain't doing all that. But huh, I cannot wait to style these pants. Like, they are fabulous. They have pockets. They have like a um, pleating details. It doesn't have pockets, pockets in the back. It has one little fake pocket which is fine. Um, belt loops in case I want to put a belt with it. I love these. I love these so much. They're a little shiny. Um, actually, no, they're not that 
that shiny, it just looks shiny because my light. Okay, so this next item that I picked up, I actually can't remember if I got it from Misguided or if I got it from ASOS, but I know Misguided no longer exists. I don't know what happened with them, but they I know they got a tall section and they no longer exist. But I picked up these high-waisted cargo um, faux leather pants, and y'all, these are so long. These are so cute. I, if I can find these, and I hope I can, um, I'm going to definitely put them in the description box below. But they're cargo pants, so of course they have the pockets everywhere. I am obsessed with these. I love these. I got them in a size eight, and as you can see, tall. But they don't do this no more. The only thing I don't like about it, and I noticed that a lot of um, faux leather pants, especially with the um, not as expensive stores, um, they don't hem the pants. They didn't hem these. These are raw, nasty gal for the black pants. They actually did hem these, so the quality on these pants are way better than the quality on these pants. But these pants, I can still make it work. I know how to sew if I wanted to hem. Um, it is very long. I, I've worn this with heels. I love these pants. Such a great purchase. And hopefully I can find them. And if you guys want them, you can pick them up too. Okay, so the next couple of items I picked up from this uh, store called, this brand called IELTS. I, Cha, I cannot pronounce it. It will be right here on the screen. Yo Ox. Forgive me. Regardless. I was on TikTok and some girl said something about the store and I was like, I'm willing, I would like to find um, more companies and I saw this company and they have like a bunch of contemporary and designer items for um, on sale or discounted prices and I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and just browse this because you know I love a sale. They have so much stuff like they have, I there's a lot of stuff in my dream box but one of the first things I picked up were these diesel sneakers. Y'all, look at the front. It goes to the side. These are so cool. And when I tell you these are so comfortable, I feel like I'm walking on clouds. All them years of them six inch heels caught up to my heels and caught up to my back. But these shoes right here, they are so cute. Ah! They are so cute and they are so comfortable. And it's not like, um, the Converse, where it's a canvas, this is like a, a puff nylon. I feel like there's padding in here. They're super comfortable. It feels like I'm walking on clouds, and they do have a little platform. So I picked these up. They had two additional colors, a gray and a light pink. I'll never wear the light pink, but I could possibly pick up the grays, but I love these. They're so comfortable, and they're so cool. From Yo Ox, I also picked up this zebra print cardigan. Um, I thought it was going to be way longer on me because I had this whole vision of what I was going to do and it can't exactly be executed because it's just too short for what I wanted to do, um, for what I wanted, originally wanted it to do, but it still kind of does go long on me. I wanted to basically wear it as an overdress, but it's not going to work out, but it's, I'm still going to keep it. It's soft. I believe it's acrylic, which is like, I believe it's acrylic. It's acrylic poly, acrylic poly elastane. Acrylic, um, when I worked in sweaters, when I designed sweaters, we used to use acrylic to kind of give like a cashmere feel, a cashmere feel, but it ain't, y'all. But this is still very soft. It's still cute, and it's, I'm still gonna wear it because I can still do other things with it. So just an easy throw on piece. Now I'm gonna talk Zara. Um, I picked up a couple of things from them. The first thing I picked up was this choker. It's like a thin gold metal that crosses. Very simple, I didn't wanna do too much. Just a very, I feel like this is giving me daytime and this next one is giving me nighttime. So I went real simple with the one choker with the other choker and then real extra with this choker and I love both of them. They both doing what they need to do and I cannot wait to style these. Both metal, both feel good. This one has elastic on it so if it has a thick neck, be careful because I kind of pinched my neck. I kind of pinched it when I tried it on the first time but I was just doing too much but I love these two pieces I picked up. Also from Zada, going with the leather trainer. Y'all can't tell, I love leather. <laughs> 
I love leather. I can't help it. I picked up this moto leather skirt from Zara that has this two buckle detail. Just a little mini, a mini skirt. Super cute. I picked this up in an extra large. I never know what Zara and they sizes. They sizes is all over the place. I'd rather it be too big and I take it in or I have my sewer take it in or and then too small and then I'm sad and then I can't get it because it's sold out. So this is an extra large. It's a little too big. I'm gonna take it in a little, but it's okay because I know how to sew and I know how to make it work. It has an invisible zipper, it's mini, um, it's loose, which I like. I mean, clearly it's loose, it's too big, but I'm not gonna take it in too much, Um, but I really like this little mini leather skirt. It's super cute with this little detail. Okay, so I also picked up from Zara this white t-shirt, this white strong shoulder t-shirt that has a very open sleeve and strong shoulders with pleating and a um, shoulder pad. I love this shirt. I went real dark. I'm gonna get additional colors. They had black and then they had one more color. I'm gonna get both of them. I love this shirt. I love the way it fits. I love both shoulders. I love exaggerated shoulders. I will get it in every color. It was a limited release, so I need to actually get on the app and order it now before it's gone. I love this. They need to come out with more colors. This, I will always rock this. in. On trend, out of trend, whatever, I will always rock a strong shoulder. I also was finally able to get my hands on a pair of wide leg jeans from Zara. They're always sold out in the bigger sizes. And like I said, with the skirt, I rather buy too big from them and have it take taken in or it just be too, a little too big than um, it be too small and I return it and I can't get it because that has happened multiple times. So basically the wide, they're wide leg pants. They're wide leg distressed pants. I love wide legs. I'm tall, like I said earlier. Wide legs look great on um, tall girls. So I'm, I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking it, it with it because it was rocking with me. All right, so we're moving on to Amazon. And first I would like to show you this fabulous clutch. It is supposed to be, well it is a Bottega dupe of their bag that is now sold out. Um, I absolutely love this bag. I love zebra print, I love cheetah print, I love cry, I love animal print. So anytime I see it baby, I'm snatching it. I'm gonna get it. This was, I think it was like $50. I absolutely love it. It's freaking huge. It's so easy to open. I love this. I love this so much. Like if the Bottega wasn't sold out, I would get that version as well. But the new version has like this weird triangle flap and I don't like that. So this will do, but I love this bag. Amazon. Got a little intermission right here. Did y'all subscribe? You get all the way through here and you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you thumbs up and like it, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a video or a short or whatever, make sure you do all that. Now back to the regular schedule pro. Okay, so the cargo trend has been huge for the past couple of um, years, especially now really picking up. And it's some for somebody who's tall and got a little curves, it's kind of hard to find the fit. And I was like, let me just try men's cargo. One of my homegirls, she stayed wearing men's pants and she stay always try it out. So I was like, let me just get on Amazon and order some men's cargo pants. And I found these. They're like literally the ones, the construction worker pants. Baby, when I tell you every time I wear these pants, I get so many compliments. They look so good. They fit so good. They are tall girl approved. I believe the inseam on this is 34. I be wearing the heels. I be wearing the sneakers. I be wearing, yeah, just the heels and the sneakers. I don't wear nothing else. But I get so many compliments on it. And it does have the, um, the string on the inside so I can make it a little tighter at the back um, to take it in because it is big. This is this is way too big for me. Uh, but I still wear it, but it helps. But it gives me the baggy look and the look that I'm supposed, I want without it falling down because it does have the drawstring on the inside. So once I got this color, which is like a mustard golden color with all the pockets and trimmings and everything, I had to get me the camo. Now the camo is a different, I believe I got this from a different store and this one actually does not have the drawstring on the inside. Or well, maybe it was the same store. I can't remember. Um, it does. This one does not have the drawstring on the inside but I can e easily add that. But this one fits me a little way better than that one. Um, this is not as big as this one. It still falls down but I'll make it work. 
but every time I wear these pants as well, I get a lot of compliments. I love these cargo pants and they were only like $30. Ladies, shop the men's section. Shop the men's section. Next item I picked up from um, Amazon, I thought I got a white. And when I opened the box, I was like, oh shit. But then I was like, well these kinda cute. I got me some mustard colored cowgirl boots. Cowboy boots. These are so cute. They're croc skin. It looks, yeah, this is the true color. They're croc skin. They're so cute. They're so comfortable. And I'm the one who acts, who put yellow. I didn't put white. And that's fine. Because I can rock these. Um, I'm going to rock these in the fall. And I'm going to rock these in the spring. I have the perfect spring outfit. And I cannot wait until it gets warm so that I can wear this. But I picked up these boots. And I absolutely love them. All items that I'm talking about will, of course, be listed um, below if they're still in stock. And if not, I will find an item that is very similar to what I'm showing in this video. Okay, so the next item I picked up, again, just on Beyonce's and Al Gore's internet. Just looking, just looking. And I saw this bag and I was like, oh my God, this color is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of this one. So clearly it's supposed to be a Bottega dupe, but it's not as big as the one I got from Amazon. I love the color. The only thing I don't like on this is the closure. It's a zipper and it has this weird tassel, which I mean, I saw when I ordered it offline, but I didn't put two and two together. I don't mind the size. It doesn't have to be as big as that one, but I just don't like the zipper and the closure. But honestly, I'm going to take this tassel off and then attach something else here so it'll be easy for me to open and close. But I just don't understand why they just didn't use the, the purse clappy thing. But you know, closure, but you know, I didn't design this. This is, this ain't my, this ain't my design, but I can still make it work because that's what we do over here. But I, child, anyways, look at the color. The color is so pretty, like how could you not? The color is so pretty. So I'm happy with this purchase once I take this tassel off. And honey, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it do what it do because I don't, I'm not returning it. I like it. So I love me a thigh high. I love me a thigh high boot. And when I saw these, I had to get these. Y'all, these netted boots from Steve Madden. Oh my God, they look so good. They are so comfortable, they are so sexy. They were actually on back order. I ordered it in October, I think. And then they actually, it said it was on back order. I was like, I don't care, I'll wait till it comes. I ain't got nowhere to go anyway. And then um, it's like shipped like the next week. So whatever, but they still have them. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They look so good. They're so comfortable. They actually also have a um, booty version. I was debating if I should get the booty versions. I'm like, no, you don't need both. But now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I do need both. Anyways, these boots are so cute. They're comfortable. They have like a clear plastic um, on the inside, but your feet, it, it doesn't get hot. It's not sweaty. The heel's not skinny. It's, a, it's like a chunky, not like a ch block heel, but a chunky heel. It's not too high. I've always found that Steve Madden boots are comfortable. These are definitely comfortable, and I definitely recommend these. Y'all Y'all better get them while you get them. Get them while you can. Get them while you get them. I can't wait to start. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really hope you enjoyed some of the items that I've picked out and helped your shopping journey. All the items I talked about today will be listed in the description box below. If not the items, very similar items, because some of the stuff might be sold out, because people be buying, honey. People be buying in. But um, hopefully if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that like button. Follow me on my social medias, Instagram at abia.evans. And the TikTok is the same, abia.evans. I don't really be on TikTok like that. I mean, on TikTok, we're not really on TikTok, but I'm more on Instagram, especially my Instagram stories. Um, on my channel, if you're new here, which you probably are, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more fashion videos. I'm gonna start vlogging a day in my life and all the other stuff. Travel vlogging, because I'm about to be hitting the streets in 2023. Um, makeup videos, hair videos, shopping videos, all that good stuff. Um, so just go ahead and subscribe. Peace!